beautiful South Florida. There's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. The excitement brewing here in South Florida as a moment ago. The Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now Tua. And his first pass is incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now the former Washington Husky, here's Miles Gaskin. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. And going deep for Hill. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 nine, nine, nine route? Nine meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared. But I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Now Mahomes. Man open, that's Byron Pringle complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Mahomes now on first down. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. And they'll get to him just inside the 15. Even after the strong run we just saw, they're able to corral him quickly defensively. It was Raquan Davis with the tackle. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's Mahomes to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. There he goes, left side. He's at the 30. 10, and he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Coaches preach all the time about opportunities and taking advantage of them, and he did exactly that. I used to have the coach told us all the time, a lost opportunity is never regained. Well, no regrets here. He picked that one off and took it to the house. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now a 7-0 game.
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, right? not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Mahomes now to throw. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And, partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. 20! And he'll even avoid the contact in the end as he will finally slide to a hole. It's a big play there for the Chiefs. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Touchdown! That's caught. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads them right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Tua sets up to pass it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. 
from the snap. He certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Tua. Now he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And shedding through the tackle. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Seven, seven, our score after one. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. As they've got it with a first and 10. Mahomes gonna throw. Got an open man, it's Pringle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. He's down inside the 10 to the 8, and it comes on a gain of 8. Ball on the eight, second and two. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Emmanuel Agba that time able to drop him for a loss. But well, nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Under pressure, and they got to him again. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there, and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Waddle is going to elect to not bring this out, and instead his guys will begin at the 25-yard line. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as they did. Yeah, decent little gain. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. The last run got six, now second and four. They'll run now with Gaskin. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. 
Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Tua looking to throw on third and two. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there. And they pick up the first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. They're going deep for Hill. And this is caught, and all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 57 yards, and the Dolphins are going to jump back in front. And there he went quite a ways just to catch that ball. He started out lined up out to the right, caught it on the left side of the field. So what does that tell us? That there was tremendous protection on that play. Because that's not going to happen very fast to be able to cross all the way from one side of the field to the other. Great job by the offensive line, keeping him upright and plenty of time to find him downfield. And boy, they did it successfully. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This one fielded at the five. And able to get this out to the 25. And now here comes Kansas City. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw pulled in by Robinson here. To throw again on second down. Mahomes. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 25. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. After the turnover, it's Tua looking for the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball and field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger points. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they want the points. So they will decline <laughs> the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over with the penalty? I don't even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Sanders now to add the extra point. It's good, and it's 
after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From the six. And down he goes just shy of the 25. Now, penalty marker is down. Let's see what that's about. Yeah, this is going to put him back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. From the third team now, they work on first and ten. Now here's Mahomes. He's going to let this one go deep. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls when you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well could have been a third interception in half number one. Mahomes again here on second and ten. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And they'll be at the 18-yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. On first down, Tonga Bailoa completes it to the tight end, Smythe. A gain of six there on first. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Throwing again on second down. Tua toward the sideline. He will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet in bounds. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Looking to pass, Tua. Touchdown, Dolphins! It's complete. Durham Smythe, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This one fielded at the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Chiefs going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Well, it's like that at just about every position. And sometimes if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. On second and ten, Mahomes. And this one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football. Nearly a fourth pick of the ball game. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? 
Third down, here's Edwards Alaire. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Back deep for Miami, Jalen Waddell. A well-hit ball there, 50 yards on the punt, three on the return, and it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half, and with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. The linebacker, Anthony Hitchens, there on the stop. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Tua, a final shot before half. And this would complete to Will Fuller. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Now a look at Smith. Not sure exactly what happened, but he's still down. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. going to set him back five yards. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Throwing now is Mahomes. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Do 
They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 40. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. This is Gaskin on the carry. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. The way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. Here's Gaskin. It's Melvin Ingram on the tackle. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun, it's Tua. And his throw is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Now Tua. On target over the middle to Hill. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Forced out to his left. And down inside the 15 he goes. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into some windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. He had no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Throw left side here, complete to the tight end, Gesicki. And the Dolphins are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Two are going to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Tyreek Hill, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins are able to grow their lead. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And they open the lead up now to 25.
Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This taken in at the goal line. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. There's a nice pickup right there. And after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. On second down, a run with Edwards Allaire. And once again, the Dolphin defense holds firm as they'll stop him behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And a quick shuffle pass here is complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Now Mahomes got to have this one. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. Doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. And he'll give it here to his running back. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Now, I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. The kick by Sanders is good. And the Dolphins will add on to their lead. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his.
After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Pringle. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 32-yard line. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. From the 30 on second down, Mahomes. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. The Chiefs on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and eight. Mahomes going to throw. That's going to be caught. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Butker on for the PAT. And that'll cut the lead back now to 21. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Dolphins are going to recover. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it. They do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Nick Bolton there on the tackle. 
Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Gaskin again on second down. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 39. Play fake for Gaskin. Now Tua. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he'll get nothing out of that one. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. KC's offense ready to take over. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because... There are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now, and if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. Now they got to get to the line quickly. To throw again on second down. Mahomes, now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football. Nearly a fourth pick of the ball game. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to our third and three. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He's going to let it fly. And it's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Definitely desperation time. This just looks like, hey, throw it down there. Hope that your guy can make a play. You want him to make a play, but if not, maybe you get a pass interference call, and you know in the NFL, that's a spot foul. You get all of that yardage. That would be a big play. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. Caught out left side by Robinson. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review, and this being inside two minutes of play, everything coming from up above. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. A couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. To throw, it's Mahomes. Wide open receiver complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock.
Mahomes to throw once more. And he'll look underneath here for Edwards Alaire. Flashed the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. From the 36, Mahomes. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you.